Hey, see here and welcome to Backbone. All I know about this game is that it looks gorgeous and it's sort of noir, uh, noir mystery about the different social class, um, it's, you know, all of that stuff. Like we are de a private detective and we need to investigate some mysteries. So let's do that. Act 1. Prologue. The pixel art looks stunning, which is the whole reason I got this game. Look at the shadow and the light on the wall. Sorry, Mr. Cole. Yeah, no problem. 27 on the buzzer. Just enough time to clean up. Okay, uh, L to move around, A to interact with objects, and access detective men. Oh, well, it's just the game. <laughs> or, oh, okay, no, it, it was this one. My bad, my bad. Uh, tidy up before my new client arrives, and I do have an inventory. So, corkboard. Do I already have a case? My diploma project. Places of absolute solitude. On the action my camera sees these days is snapping fools living places they shouldn't be in. Mama Helen Lotor taught me everything I know, and I've spent years trying to <laughs> learn half of it. Amazing. Home to the high and mighty, skyscrapers full of apes, big shots, and gated communities. Of course, the skyscrapers are full of apes. They can keep it. Good place for a nice but expensive date. Museums, fancy music halls, I've not been for a long time. Granville, where the night comes to life. I've got rough edges. It's got rough edges, but it feels like home. Hmm. Gas town, that's the dream. Well, if you're a bourgeois snob who dreams of overpriced salad. It is nice and clean, though. Where all the fishing boats hang out. Plenty of warehouses and seriously sketchy dive bars, too. Lower middle class bill. It's not gas town, but it's respectable enough. I grew up there on the border with West End. And one's idea of paradise. Mainly factories and cramped tenement blocks full of neglected souls. That's where the stuff gets made, doing honest work with your hands. Not a bad life, really. Where most of our food is grown. Widest open spaces in the city. More restrictions on public visits every year. And what about this one right here? How do I get there? Oh, there we go. No. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. <laughs> There we go. Ah, Pianetti. Pianetti? Ah, you beautiful, dangerous renegade, you. Maybe one day you'll settle down and call me again. So, yeah, just from this, we can already tell that the different social classes are an important part of the story. That's basically all I know, and uh, it seems to be... Uh, yeah, it seems to be important. Insurance fraud, stolen cars, and strange lovers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, use L to drag and drop items. Some items can be picked up by pressing X. Aha! Uh -huh. Is that all? That's all. Cool. That's all. Okay, then. Let's go to the living room. Media set. Gotta hit up Frankie to fix it when I have cash, so never <laughs> mood. Call mum, buy soap, pay bills, don't die. Yep. Living photo developers in the kitchen is a sure road to poisoning or a great soap. Well, listen, either works. Hard to get tired of this view. Wait, do we have the toilet in the living room? Like, I've heard of open space, but this is a bit too open a space. 
I'll watch this later. Probably not. Okay, so this is the loo. It is just a toilet. And the bath is in the living room. Huh. Interesting. Oh, place chemicals. I didn't even realize I picked them up. Everything knows its proper place. <laughs> there we go. That must be Mr. Screen. Open. Excuse me. I'm looking for Detective Lotter. We spoke on the phone. That's me. You were vague before, so tell me everything, Mrs. Green. Oh, that please. And it's a matter I'd like to be discreet about. All right. What are we dealing with here? I understand this sort of thing is routine in your line of work. It's about my husband, you see. I'm listening. He just hasn't been himself lately, getting home at all the hours, making weird excuses. You try to talk to him about it? I don't know if I'm the kind of guy that, that is like, you know, conversation is key. I mean, I am. I don't know if the product. What's my name actually? Wait. I don't know if we have said my name. I think she said it. Something like. Oh, I can scroll. Um, Lotor. Detective Lotor. I don't know if Lotor is kind of guy to be like, just talk about it. But then again, I don't know if I can make him like that. If, you know, these choices matter in the story. Um, so let's go with that. I mean, I. I'm sure I've gotten so many cases like this, so, you know, what's another one? You suspect he's cheating on you? I think so, but I need real proof, right? To go to the court. Court? Uh, I don't think I care about that. I just, you know, want the job. I want the money. Uh, tell me about the affair. What do you need to know? What made you think is not faithful? I do need information if you want me to have something to work on. He was always a private kind of man, and now he started getting home late, missing work and smelling funny. Um. I do want him to be sensitive. Let's. Let's. Hold up, has he been aggressive? I can see how this is pertinent, Mr. Lotter. Um... But, personal details can make or break a case. I don't see how this would help you take a photo of my husband. I have to know if he's dangerous. Fine. He has a mean temper, unpredictable. That's all you need to know. He threatened to take the... I, okay, no, let's not push it. She did say she wants to be discreet. Um, Let's talk about the court. Let's talk about court then. You want to fight for divorce? That's right. And above all, I need something damning enough that custody won't even be a question. Your husband will want the kids? I... I can't take any chances anymore. So I did end up asking in the end. But as he said... Uh, mm, no, I mean, I don't care that much. Like... Again, I'm taking the case. Let's talk final details. I just want the case. I just want the job and the money. <laughs> Um, I feel like Lothar is the kind of guy that is sensitive, that does care, but in his line of work, if he were to care for every, you know, client with every cheating case and everything, um, that would be way too much. 
you know, so he does the bare minimum to show that he care, kind of, so something like that. Well, for sure, what does he look like? Here's a photo. He's an auteur, of course. He wears glasses, square ones, and his wedding band, as far as I know. Oh, and he carries a black briefcase to and from work. Where would I find him usually? I mean... Usually, at work or at home. He never used to stop anywhere. Now it's all the time. Have you met any of his friends? No, but he's mentioned a few guys. Says they get together after work sometimes. Um... What's his full name? Any Alice's? Jeremy Green. I think people at work call him Jess. How oh, would I pick him out of a crowd? He wears a suit to work. I picked out his green tie and, and hat for him today. Where does he work? At the Wolf Bank on Granville. I write your dress down for you. That should be enough. There's just a matter of my fee. I can give you a hundred now and fifty when you bring me the photos. Will that suffice? Yes, plus any unexpected expenses. It's not just my life writing on this. I can only afford one shot. What assurance can you give me that you're the right guy for the job? Um... See, this is kind of what I was saying before, uh, but I don't know if I want to say that. <laughs> I think I'll go with this. It's a matter of trust, Odette. Do you trust me? <laughs> I thought so. No, but I have no choice. My life is on the line. Your life is on... I mean... Is it? If he's just cheating on you... Okay... I'll get right on it. Call you later tonight. Goodbye, Odette. Well... So, now I guess we can just go, right? Trap Jeremy Green and find evidence of his infidelity and all that. Yeah, I mean, let's go to his work. To Granville. Ooh! -hoo. I love this! Backbone! I mean, of course, the title screen. I forgot that we didn't have it yet but i do love that that style that art style and these are all look at this look at this granville smells like wet concrete overpriced fast food and puke my kind of battleground hello there are you single <laughs> Um, yeah, old man. How's it going, fella? Just hanging. What's up with you? Uh, I don't want to be like, what is up, fellow kids? So let's just go straight to the point. I'm tracking someone for a case. Okay, now we're talking. What the guy do? Murder? Arson? I mean, I was just kidding when I said are you single because I make everything gay, but like, he does seem a bit fruity with that first option, so let's go with that. <laughs> Nothing so bad as your crime against fashion. What's with that jacket? You don't face me, bro. Just kidding. Take a look at this photo. Recognize him at all? Nah, man. Even if I had, why would I tell you? Well, see you. Yeah, I fucked it up being gay. Uh, but... Uh, <laughs> um, I couldn't not. I just... it's If there's a gay option... <laughs> Look at... I, I'm mind blown by... The reflections... 
the water, the... I love this. Oh, okay. Oh, Anatoly. Hey, it is a Mr. Aoi. What's a rascal like you up to f uh, on a fine evening like this? My beaver, how are you strolling the kid? They're both doing just fine. As you know, are good. Great. We even blessed the shepherd. Got a second lad too soon. Oh, I got a great story for you. Another? Wow, you guys are lucky. Thanks. It's a big one too, I see. It's as it's round as a watermelon. Anyway, the story. I tell her, <laughs> a woman, you get any bigger and I won't fit you in the trunk of a car. <laughs> okay. Uh, sure. I don't want to antagonize him because I need information. So... Great. Can you answer a couple of my questions? Um, mm, sure. Let's just play along. I don't want to play alone, but let's play alone. Huh. Funny. And so... <laughs> she, she just turns to me with the eyes of a killer and says, Give me the bread, Annie! Oh, boy, women, man! Women, yeah. Women, mysterious creatures, they love bread! So we break the news to our boy, Victor. Son, you're gonna have a bro soon. And he's like, oh no, a bro? What is it? Mm-hmm. So I tell him, mama and papa worked hard, so the apes let us have another baby. Baby boy, just like you. Wait, what's the implication here? I mean, I'm. Sh it is just you know, like the the stork kind of thing. I'm I'm sure, but like, I guess the apes are in control because the apes live in the skyscrapers, so I, they're the CEOs or everything. But this is fucked up. That this is the equivalent of the stork in this world. <laughs> it's like saying Jeff Bezos. Allowed me to have a son. <laughs> anyway, mm -hmm. uh, this guy is just gonna keep going, so I don't even need to actually agree or disagree with any of the thi of the thing he says. Little Victor, first of all, starts laughing. Oh, daddy, we're going to be so happy. Me and baby bro will play all the time. And I say, sure, son, but he's the coach. There always is. You and Mama gonna have to look after him because two babies means zero daddies because daddy has to work four shifts instead of two. <laughs> okay, this guy sucks, but that is even more fucked up. Like, what the fuck? Jeez, are you right, man? I'll manage, I'll manage. Now, what did you say you were doing here? I'm looking for a guy. Here's a picture. You seen him ever? See, he asked. So I think I did the right thing playing along and letting him tell the story. Um, yeah, I seen him. Barrel of Love's kind of guy. Smell really bad. It took him back from the bite a couple times. The bite? Is that like a bar or a diner? Um... smell didn't the wife say something about the smell as well and I did have an option saying asking oh, what it smelled like but I think I chose something else or am I completely misremembering let's ask where you would be now because I'll find out what he's, <laughs> what he's gonna smell like. Any idea where it'd be now? Guess the bite is a good guess as any. It's a good place though, eh? Did you ever talk? Okay, I can ask more things. Did he mention anything that seems strange? Nah, he was too wasted to talk most of the time. His smell did enough talking for both of us. <laughs> he smelled? But what exactly? 
Ah, uh, you know, poopy kind of smell. Stale booze and perfume, herbs, awful, awful stuff. Thanks, Anatoly. You're a detective's best friend. My regards to Estrella. Take care, my man. Bye. Okay, then. Let's go to the bite. Rogue. What? The dick bridge. Oh, the rogue. If people watch more movies. Oh, the rogue is the... The cinema. Cocktails and a movie. Sounds like a great plan for the weekend, actually. 